Evening all, and welcome back to Kerbalism. We are not starting this episode off with a rocket launch, no, we're off on a plane journey for a nice change. We have a contract to take four Kerbals to the Northern Mountains, they want to fly over there and then come back nice and safely, and uh, I thought we shall go in quite a unique looking plane. Uh, I want to thank uh, Nikita Markev on the Kerbal Space Program Facebook page, that pointing out that the Mark II space plane expansions have all these wonderful parts of them, parts that I've kind of wanted for a long time. I like the Mark II space plane stuff, but uh, having it with other added bits of it is fantastic. So, thanks very much for pointing that out, and uh, I'm going to be using them a lot in the future, I think. So, I've done a few contracts and um, got our money up a little bit here, but uh, it's not a great deal. Uh, I I really need an asteroid. Uh, basically, down here in tourism, uh, you can see we've got some things here, you know, flyover K2, suborbital. It, it gives money, it gives like 300,000, which is good, but it's not a great deal for it, and it's quite a specific place to do it. You've got to load all the passengers up, you've got to get in this suborbital trajectory over the top of K2. It is doable, I'm not saying it's not doable, it's just there. But um, if, for instance, we had an asteroid, you see here, uh, that's one and a half million, and that's one million, which is... Mm, Nice, very nice. Uh, we do also have a space camp, which I might do at some point. It's not a lot of money, but it does give us loads of new Kerbals. So that's possible. But that's 40 days, is it? Yeah, 40 days. And uh, I think our Duna window is uh, 21 days. So that's not going to be possible. Uh, we'll be launching a probe after Jewel as well, so that's okay. But there is something else that I noticed when I was looking through my tracking station. I realised something. Um, we've also got this asteroid here, which has just left our Kerbal Sphere inference and is off around the sun. Doesn't have another encounter at all, which is, uh, yeah, we missed that one completely. But I was tracking two asteroids. We've got another one here. And this one, if you actually look, has just entered Kerbal Sphere inference. She's on her way down to, uh, I think, crash into the planet. Yep, she's going to crash into the planet. So I'm thinking I might go and grab that one and give this a go. I don't know how heavy it is or anything like that at all. So I'm going to have to build a ship with a lot. Um, you are currently tracking it. Yeah, so. Um, but um, we tried twice and the other one and failed. So maybe third time's a charm. Although I obviously won't be doing this. Uh, on camera so much. I'll, I'll record it and show it, but I'm going to sort of time-lapse it or speed it ahead or something because it's going to be exactly the same process as with the last asteroid. Get up to it, grab it, and try and slow it down in time.
so now we have an asteroid in orbit it's um tiny but it is an asteroid and it will satisfy the kerbals that want to go and see it so we can make the money but we've only got 72,000 left um that's mainly due to the fact that I had a terrible roll of luck. I use stage recovery to recover all the boosters that go up, put parachutes on them. I always make sure it's as high as you can get. I think the boosters, they were all about 96%. I recovered the four outer ones, which gave me a little bit of money back, but the center one, which was worth 260,000, didn't survive. So um, that really hurt. Yeah, um, I actually deleted the messages now, but yeah, um, yeah, all four of the outside ones were done. They were only about sort of 14,000 each, but um. Yeah, so um, all my eggs in one basket, and uh, unfortunately the roll didn't work. But we did get an asteroid, that's important. So, we can take contracts to take tourists to an asteroid, which would be good, because all we have to do is visit an asteroid for 15 minutes, as long as it's above 75,000, which it is, it's 140-ish. Um, and we got that one there. Oh, that's 1.9 now. Whoa. Wow, that's... Uh... Okay, um, so we're going to take both of those, because I can do them, and that's going to be stupid amounts of money. It's going to be two, three and a half million, nearly. But we need to get there. I don't think I can launch a rocket with one, how many kerbals? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven kerbals. Can't launch a rocket with seven kerbals on 72,000. Well, I can, but they won't get very far. Um... Maybe I need to take another contract and have a look, see, um, what I can do, KSC Airlines. 63 passengers, you what? That's uh, a lot of people. I don't have a jet that can do that. Um, Cobra Academy. Advanced piloting. That's going to cost me money. I don't want to do... Oh, does that increase? Oh, oh, can we pay for people to get trained up? Awesome, I did not know that. That's quite useful. Um, I'm going to have a hunt through. Oh, 35,000. I can do that. I think my passenger jet can do that if it does a dive and a raise. Although I do need to modify my um, passenger jet slightly because it those dives quite badly and uh mark 2 is 686 Ooh, gonna be struggling a bit but i don't think you can get that fast and barnstorm in the hangers it doesn't matter how many times i complete this contract it comes back again only a little bit but a barnstorm is basically flying through the hangers over at the other runway uh and jump from an airplane for 25,000. really have a jump of volunteer. Flying above 2,000. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. And we're going to take that one. And uh, I will go and complete these contracts now. And here we are in the slightly modified passenger plane. It has a uh, vector engine on the back now. So it can get to higher places. Um, ooh, I'm not going to take it down. No. Um, Let's go and uh, see what we can get to. We have Lubris. Lubris, our engineer, he is going to be the brave soul that's going to uh, jump from our plane. I'm not sure how to do this. I'm thinking I want to slow the plane down as much as possible. Much better. Much better. I'm trying to turn that off. Still no dice. Not as badly, though. Not. Uh, before the pitch was about halfway, just to keep the plane straight. Oh. Well, uh, there it is. Uh, oh, in fact, this shot now. We don't. What I want to do is um, we need to get up above 2,500 meters. So let's just pull up. Okay, like so, and then we need to dive out, but I need to make sure this plane survives. So, let's uh, move down the line. 
with being speedy again. There we go. And you are going to EVA and probably get thrown off the back of the craft. And let go. We. Uh. Oh, we're not doing that one. We're not doing that one. Land your jumper. Oh. Okay. So, um, hopefully that plane's going to be okay on its own. Land your jumper safely and then land your plane back at the KSC, which is... That will carry on flying on its own. And should stay pretty level. So, I'll be okay with that. Let's just get a... Lubris back anywhere. Can't actually do anything. Nope, just gotta wait for the... Um, Parachute to deploy would be nice at any point. Hey, there we go. Right. So let's just uh, let's just land in the water. I suppose That's probably the best way to do it. Land your plane safe. Oh, okay, okay. So, how will I do that then? Do I have to get the plane circling? I mean, that is possible. But, um, I'm not sure how far I should actually land without a. We want to pull back and do something like that. There we go. Okay. And Lubris, right. So we can recover you. Now we don't have the plane. Okay. I think the best way to do this um, is we are now absolutely stuffed for money. We have 4,000 credits left because that plane clearly didn't get recovered. Or did it? True. No, it did. It did get recovered, but it didn't get recovered for the... We didn't get any money for it. Contract parameter failed. Does that matter? Uh, oh! Oh no, we actually failed the contract. So you get one shot of that contract and that's it. That's a big, big problem. Right, so I've taken a few more contracts to try and get our money up, but I can't get it enough to launch any sort of plane that can do anything that's required. So my only option is a bailout grant. But I can't do that whilst I have this guy. And I, I normally pick this fundraising one here. Um, it takes 25% of the reputation and yields money for it instead. 
that's generally because money's always a problem and reputation doesn't particularly do anything. I don't know. If it might help contracts. I'm not sure. But we'll cancel that one. Yep. And we will take a bailout refund. I had more than 25% commitment. So if we did 25% commitment, we would be given 45,000 and we'd lose 520 rep. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Yep. Yes. The bomb. Um, that gives us 59,000, which I think is enough to launch our plane. Okay, yes, it's 52,000 to launch this. So, um, again, all our eggs in one basket, but it should be doable. The two missions I've picked are um, Achieve Mug 2, which is 686 meters a second. Do you know, I don't know whether this can actually do that or not. Uh, it might be able to, we'll find out. And get 35,000, that I'm sure it can do. Uh, I'm sure I got to about 25,000 just on the standard engines, let alone with the, uh, the turbo jet. So we should be good. But, uh, let's give it a go, shall we? Um, we... Just jib, just jib, that's it, go. Okay, uh, no, we don't want them because they're going to the asteroid, not to here. Um, so what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to turn the thrust limiter off on that one. So it's not being used. And what we're going to aim for is getting up high on these sand engines. Then we'll fire this one on. I'll switch it into wet mode straight away. And um, then once we're up there, and we're doing it, we'll, we'll turn that on and we'll try and push through. I, I want to get up as high as I possibly can. And not particularly quickly. Sorry about that. Um, and then once we've got this one done, we can try a diving maneuver. We'll dive down, turn around, fire the engine on again and push up as hard as we can. See, see what we can do there. Um, hopefully that'll work, I'm not sure. We will find out in a moment. Uh, we're at the right height, but I need to get, I need to get through the thick of the atmosphere, so we're going to wait till we get up quite high to begin with. Yep. And um, we will see what she can do. Right, so we're. Yeah. 8,000 meters and these engines are beginning to die off. That makes sense because they're not designed for high altitude. So uh, let's switch the mode on that and uh, fire it up. That will speed us up and speeding up obviously increases how much airflow comes into the intakes and that will in turn increase how much these can do although these are starting to die off because they're just they're at a height that's just not working. It shouldn't be a problem. It should not be a problem. Um, I want to get up sort of 10,000, I suppose. Although I can already see we're starting to die off a little bit here, so bring that nose down a bit more. And now we're pointing downwards, but. Um, Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it here, shall we? Talking mode. Go for it. No. Nope. Ah. But how if you remember? Uh, so when you switch modes, it remembers what the uh, settings are. So that's interesting to know. Uh, anyway, this is not going to work, is it? <laughs> I do know that turbojets work once you get to a certain speed they push through better so maybe we just need to keep pushing and uh, here we go I'm gonna leave it for a bit and um, we are still climbing ever so slightly so we'll just uh, see what happens I'm not an expert when it comes to planes in KSP by any stretch of imagination so we'll just uh, see how this goes 
Okay, so we are very close to our target. Um, I've actually uh, set my pitch here. I've got the, um, I don't know if you can see that little plus 60 and plus 1 on the roll. Um, I've got a, a mod that shows the trim settings there. So I've tried to set it so that the trim balances out the plane. Um, it is pitching up ever so slightly, but I'm not all that worried about Basically what I'm just trying to do is get roughly where we want to go and then um, I can quite simply just uh, run, enable SAS which will then hold us straight. Right. Plane to line up. Whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, we've lost the other engines. Right, so we're definitely going fast enough, but we are not level. We need to get our vertical speed to be less than 10. Quit. Right. And, oh, now we're not going fast enough. Let's go. Right, here we go. Here we go. Now we're not making... Oh, come on, come on, you can do it. I believe in you. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Not working. Not working. You have 100% of everything you need. Maybe we need to go lower so those engines do kick in. They may not do a lot, but they do give a little tiny bit. Yeah, let's 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 stick the nose down a bit. Um and I'll trim down to about fifty. Just turn off no, no it's still gonna pitch up too high. Forty. There we go. It's finding a balance where the vertical speed is increasing slowly but your horizontal is not now. Obviously, the plane does lean over. All planes in Kerbal Space Program lean to the left. No matter how I build them, unless you purposely build them to not do that, um, they all lean to the left. So I don't know why that is. Um, and you set the roll to like two, and then they lean to the right. And you set it to one, and then lean to the left. There's no way I've ever found a balancing a plane to fly without SES enabled. So it's slightly annoying, but is something I suppose you kind of have to accept. So we have to jump to about 30 again. And to come down again. Three five. Three five. Three five looks good. And did I do that? Did I? I did. I did it. We did it. We achieved it. I wasn't even looking. Uh, awesome. So. Um, Awesome, right. Now, we need to get to 35,000 meters, which involves diving down and pulling up. Now, I don't want to dive and then pull up really hard because I feel as if this plane's gonna fall apart. Uh, it's pretty structurally sound, but those wings are very long and uh, I'd be a little bit worried about that. So if I turn my pitch down to nothing, so, we will naturally start diving down, which is what we want. And then I shall change the trim to be in about 100, which will give us a nice curve coming up. Uh, I may even switch this mode here, just to slow us down. If there's like, there's no need to... Actually, you know what, there's, there's no purpose in not having that engine running. It is affecting the other ones, obviously it's taking all the air from them, but well, they're going to have to learn to live with it. Right. So, now we pitch up to about... 46, that'll do. And some more roll-on. 
so we do try and pitch up in a straight line which we're not doing but what are you going to do about it really now let's see here where can she get to don't think we're going to get anywhere near 35 to be honest with you I think 20 is going to be about the limit yep uh, she's still trying so really but what we can do is we can do a couple of diving motions and see whether one of those motions will get us above 35 that is possible if I just leave the pitch and settings like this um, I think we're going to set to about 50 and uh, we will see what happens I'm going to set the roll to 2 and uh, I'm just going to let it bounce around I'm going to let it go up and down and up and down and uh, I will be back once it does something exciting or until we basically have run out of fuel and um, we need to land. We do need to get back to the KSC, so I suppose it rolling over ever so slightly isn't a bad thing. We can kind of head back to where we want to be going, so... Hmm. But we'll see, we'll see. I shall play with this for a bit, and uh, I shall come back when we're, hopefully, going to complete our contract. So, this plane cannot get to 35,000 metres, 35 kilometres, so um, I've decided to bring it home, bring it to a stop and uh, complete one contract because we really really do need the money I suppose I could build this smaller have a fighter jet version that would probably work a lot better and here we are in the very creatively named mini plane because it is tiny it's basically engine pretty much all of it there. Um, it has a thrust by ratio of 2.07 which should in theory go up as we get through the atmosphere. So um, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Let's see whether this can get Jeb to our 35,000 meter mark. What we want to do. Yes. Go. Break off. Uh, oh, we're going to bounce and the gimbal off on that. Uh, uh, rotate. And this should pretty much be able to punch right up. Which it does look pretty happy doing. Which is awesome. So let's get through the thick of the atmosphere and then we'll switch the engine over to uh, wet mode and uh, well this should do, wouldn't it? This this should do. It's, pretty, it's got enough thrust rate ratio to basically be a rocket. Should be good. And now we need to switch over because the air is too thin. So, oh, are we still slowing down? That's a little concerning. Inches ago, we didn't make it. Wow, okay. I wonder why that is. Well, I believe this plane can do this. I, 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 I'm confident this plane can do this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dive. Uh, we're going to do our lovely little divey trick thing. I don't know where the actual center of lift is, so. Set our thing to say 31, I suppose, on the trim. And uh, yeah. the trim isn't really designed for this, it's designed to level a plane out, not designed to pick the nose up as it's going here. But sometimes I quite like setting the trim up and um, switching the camera controls on and just letting the plane fly around because that works pretty well. That's too harsh.
Okay, so the dive, the rise and the pull out is going to take us to very, very high up in deep. Yeah, is awesome. So, um, yeah, we have done it. We are going to definitely achieve this. Let's just speed up time and... Ah, they won't fly to 35,000. Now, all we need to do is uh, come back down and uh, land on the runway. So, uh, I'll see you back down there. Well, that was a very unorthodox landing, but um, I landed on the safe. I was being very precautious there, because every time I hit the brakes, I noticed it was pushing forward with the front wheel. And it does say in the contract to land safely without destroying anything. Which, uh, yeah, see, it does, does that. And I know from previous ones, by safely, it means every part must be intact. So, uh, yeah. Probably a time with turning the brakes down on it, actually. That would have probably worked. We're, we're breaking. But we're home. We're back. We're over. We have completed the contract. We're done. Okay, and that throws up to 177,000. Now, is that enough to build a craft to take their yeah, Kerbals? I can't remember how many tourists we got. Um, to our asteroid that's a question that we should answer in the next episode so thank you very much for watching hope you've enjoyed this one hope to see you again next time and until then as always have fun